Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Veldov and this is my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to make restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, stay tuned in and let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block we got beef, tortilla shell, peppers, and an onion that I didn't put out here already. <laughs> so anyway, because people, like I told you, people in my family don't eat a lot of onions. So saying that to say this, we have olive oil, and this is some balsamic, and some fajita. So by me saying fajita, you already know what I'm about to make. That's right, I'm making us some beef fajitas. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need this uh, flank steak right here. And of course, an onion, and I do have garlic that I want to put in there. But you, before we do all that stuff, we're going to have to marinate this stuff, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up guys and I'll see you guys back here in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back, here's the meat. Washed it off. Now, we're gonna have to cut this, okay? So we're gonna cut this in half. Just like so. Two and fours. Unless you want long pieces of meat. That's why we always cut it like this. Because you want to cut against the grain. See how that is? See how them grains going like that? So we want to cut against it like this. That's how you get tender meat. All right? So we just put this over here. We come in with this. Like so. Thin pieces of meat. I'm turn it this way. All right, show you guys that. About thing I won't mind. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up because I got cut up all the rest of them. I know you guys don't want to see me cutting this for a long period of time. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Now what I did here, I took a half a um, lime and I just zest some of that. I cut up like three um, garlic cloves. All right. So that's that on that. Now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take this and put it in the bag. I right, had the bag open. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take this right here. I like to mix it a little bit like this on the table. But we're gonna mix it in the bag too as well. We're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. And we gotta marinate this guy. I like intense flavors, and I hope you guys do too. Less salt, more intense. Here's the garlic cloves right here. Just gonna throw those in there. See if I can rack up all these. Rake them up, rather. I'm gonna show you guys next time on the uh, on the fajita seasoning. I have a recipe for that as well. I should have went ahead and just did it, but uh, I gotta do a lot of other stuff. So <laughs> here's the Ortega. This is what I'm going with today. Ortega, you can buy a seasoning pack. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon, or no, two tablespoons of that, just like that. I'm gonna take a little salt, a half a teaspoon of that. Sliced up. I'm gonna take some um, olive oil. Probably about a quarter cup. Not even a quarter a third. No, a quarter cup. Ah, uh, we got some balsamic vinegar. About two tablespoons. Just like that. I'm gonna squeeze this line, not this one, but this one. 
up and down. I'm gonna do my squeezer. All right. Turn mine back around. I'm trying to get every last little bit of that juice up out of there. See? All right. So we're done with that. Put that over there. Put this at the sink. And we're just going to mix this up, guys. Get, uh, get that air out. Mixing it up like this. Now it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more olive oil. Now if you want to use avocado oil, you can. A little bit more healthier. Put a little bit more in there. All right, that's about it. A little bit more. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. We we'll go with a little bit more seasoning. There you go. Now one one other thing. I know I told you what I was gonna do, but um, I have to do it. I have to do it because I want my stuff to taste a certain type of way. Um, if I can find it. Ooh, you gotta have it. This black pepper, that's it. That's um, like, like a teaspoon. Look like like a tablespoon almost. Hmm. We're gonna put a tablespoon of this oregano in there. All right, that's it, I promise you. So guys, please don't skip the video because you're gonna miss out. It's still gonna taste good, but I want it to taste just like mine, okay? So we're just gonna mix this up, guys. And we're gonna let this rest for about an hour. An hour. Not in the refrigerator, but on the table. This is beef, not chicken. You wanna be room temperature. All right? Yep, that's it. That's what we got, guys. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. The meat been marinated for about a good hour and a half. And I think it's ready. All right. So I did cut up some vegetables right here, the bell peppers and the onions. Like I said, I'm going to saute them up. That's going to be the first thing we do. And then we'll go in and do the meat. So I'll see you guys over there in a minute. Okay guys, you want to get this mug to smoke a little bit before you throw these uh, vegetables in there. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. Don't want them to get so mushy. Now, if you guys have uh, you can, if you like onion, use your whole onion or two or whatever have you you want. I would love to put the onion in there, but uh, like I told you, <laughs> some of the people in my family don't like it, so gotta respect them. So I just talk to the New York time. We're gonna cook guys for about this. Five minutes, then we're gonna go ahead and take it out 
Then I do the onion, then we'll put it all back on the same plate. Okay? See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. This is what we're looking for right here. So you want to just take this out. See that? That's what you want. Turn this down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it off for now. See it over here. Point right now, you go ahead and just throw these onions in here. A little oil over there. That's it. Put these a little bit up. You want them to have a little body or texture to it. Okay, so we're going to take these out, put them on the plate. Skillet is still smoking. That's what we want. Now we're gonna put a little bit more olive oil in here. There's the crumb, just like so. Come in here with our meat. So we're just gonna let this cook, guys, for 10 minutes. We don't want it to be super brown or none of that stuff. Okay? And then I'll show you what we're doing next. Warm it. Matter, matter of fact, what you could do is you can warm your soft shells up in the microwave for about one minute. Not even one minute, guys. I say about 30 seconds. Alright? See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. We're going to take some of my stuff and put that in there. Meat is pretty much done. You can put all of yours in there. I'm just gonna put this in here like this. Just get some extra seasoning to this meat. All right, guys, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Finally, I am almost done. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to bring attention to you. You guys going to see this coming up before this recipe anyway. This is some homemade tiki sauce that I made right here. All right. All right, that's that. I made some pico de gallo. So I'll try to put a link down there for that. Because I made that also. And I'm telling you, it's the bomb. And I got some um, red onions right here. For the, those that want some. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this sauce on here. Just a little bit, guys. Just like this. It's optional. Okay. And we're going to take this stuff right here. in there like that like so I'm gonna just sit this right over here and 
hope and pray it don't fall. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and start it with another one. Just like that. Okay. Okay, that's that one. Right here. Get that bad boy up in there. Get it that. Get it in there. Alright. Alright, two without. Three without. All right, let's get this one right here, guys. One more to go. Right there. All right, guys, one more thing. Now, this is homemade pico de gallo. I know I told you, but it is the bomb. We're just going to put some of these on here. Okay guys, I'm back, camera died on me, sorry about that. And this is about it. Tell them I work hard every day for you guys. Every day. What you want to do? Take you some lime. Squeeze your little lime on there. It's one per um, fajita. Okay? Tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you really. But to try it. Try it. You think I'm just messing around here? Try it. I promise you. You'll be making this for any get together that you have, any type of special events. You're gonna wow. Them. That's no doubt about it. So please believe me when I tell you. It's no joke. I used to make these, um, well, not this particular one. Um, I used to make fajitas. What's that place I worked at? Chi Chi's? I think it was Chi Chi's. Yeah, I believe it was Chi Chi's. And boy, 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 people used to come in the back talking about who made the fajita? They don't taste the same. I had a fact, I, I told you I got fired from a lot of jobs for that reason. Because I like to do things with a twist, although I shouldn't have been doing it. So, um, guys, there it is, beef. Fajitas. Wipe this down. Beef fajitas. All day, every day. In my kitchen. My home to yours. If I can find a bell, I'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, you know I can't survive without this bell. That's right. Supply, guys, please give me a like, a share. And subscribe to the channel and share me out and let everybody know there's somebody in the kitchen that's making these restaurant quality foods for you and please do not that's right do not forget to hit that bell so you too can be notified next time i upload another delicious recipe and i'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching in a minute